record onto the reel to reel recorder all of the different d dance songs I wanted yeah. and, and I'd just edit them onto the, the tape and set up the lights in my rumpus room yeah. and I'd have friends over and I didn't realise but I was actually staging a mini dance party yeah, yeah. for sort of like 10 friends <laughs> at the age of 10 yeah. l long before I got into the business that it became. And we had a record shop up the top of the street and I'd go up there once a week and sort of see what had come in in the 12 inch section and I'd listen to dance records and I'd buy them and this is all before I had no intention or no plans to become a DJ but I was buying for my collection. I was collecting and enjoying and loving new music as it came out and that was a very productive period. We had the major events, the Mardi Gras and the Seas Ball, which we used to spend six months of the year looking forward to. I mean, I remember like walking out of the Seas Ball and thinking, six months, the next party. Now, most kids of the party see season that's on now would, couldn't believe that they, they're used to a party every week. Wouldn't it be good if, if people could come out more often um, and experience the dance party magic that, yeah. that, that went on inside this, uh, this temple of dance? We saw it as a creative thing yeah. and really wanting to give people the uplifting experience of hearing music on a big sound system but yeah. also putting on a spectacular light show. There was something special about that time. It was a coming out party coming to the Horden and experiencing in that vast room with the the acoustics that it set up for the sound system and the sound pumping through that big room and four to six thousand people really getting down, really getting into it. There wasn't Mr. Policeman telling us what we could and couldn't do. We were just partying. It was magic at that time. Yeah, they were sharing the love. They yes. really were sharing the love. I, I wanted to get that mix ready as quickly as possible and then to have as much time as possible to have a dance yeah. and, and connect with the crowd, look at the crowd, you know, get them to raise their hands, get them to raise their hearts and get them into, the, into what was going on.
I think I've always liked I've always liked uplifting music and I've always always right back to the very beginning in 1980 all my music's had a tone of 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 happiness as best as I can could find and anything I found that that had happy chords and and an uplifting energy to it that's what really spurred me on okay this is it thank you very much for coming we hope you've had a good night